Hey everyone, so Johnny Cage here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get all the color gems as well as enter the two secret levels in Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped in the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on PlayStation 4. Let's get started. Like Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot 3 also has a secret warp room. The difference here is that you are explicitly told how to enter each secret level. In order to access the secret warp room to begin with, you first must acquire five relics of any color, sapphire, gold, or platinum. The platform in the middle of the time twister will rise up out of the ground and you could ride it into the secret warp room. Unlike Crash Bandicoot 2, you can see all five levels that you can access. The difference here is that you need a certain amount of relics to access each level. You can see the entrances, but you can't actually enter them until you get the required amount of relics for each. The first one is 5, the second one is 10, 15, 20, and finally 25. A couple of these entrances are actually alternate entrances to other levels that you've already played through, one of which contains the yellow gem, and we'll start there. In order to access the alternate entrance to Hang 'em High, which is level 27, you first must acquire at least 10 relics. This alternate entrance is a bit like a death route, and by that I mean it has some pretty difficult platforming challenges. Once you reach the end, you'll see the yellow gem, you can pick it up, and just exit the level like normal. The red gem is in the level Deep Trouble. Getting this gem is relatively simple. About two-thirds of the way through the level, you'll be met with a splitting path. You will notice that there is a wireframe box if you try to go to the right. The gray exclamation point, or the wireframe switch box as I like to call it, is at the end of the north path. This means that you have to hit that switch and make your way all the way back to the branching path. From here, that wireframe will now be a TNT box. Set it off and you can proceed down this alternate route. Also keep in mind that the green exclamation point box, or the nitro switch, is at the end of this more difficult alternate path. So if you're trying to go for both gems, this is the way to do it. The purple gem can be found in High Time's Death Route. In order to access this death route, you have to stay alive and never die until you reach the platform. You can die in the death route all you want until you get a game over. You can keep trying as many times as you like. You just can't die getting to this point. If you do die, you have to quit the level and go back in. The blue gem is located in Tomb Waiter, and this level also has a death route. The same rules apply. You could die as many times here as you like. You just can't die getting to this platform. Finally, the green gem is in the level Flaming Passion. Same rules apply here, it's at the end of a death route, you can't die getting to it, but you could die as many times as you like inside the death route. As I mentioned before, there are seven secret levels or secret entrances in Crash 3, but the secret warp room, or the additional warp room, only has five. That's because the entrances to these two additional levels are just completely hidden in other levels. The first one you can access is called Agapus Rex. This is accessed through level 11, Dino Might. In order to access the entrance to Agapus Rex, you need the yellow gem. The reason for this is because the entrance is in the yellow gem path in Dino Might. Once you're on the yellow gem path, make your way to the Triceratops chase and get yourself caught by the second pterodactyl you see. The easiest way to do this is to just jump into it. Don't jump on it, just jump into it. It will take you away to Agapus Rex. Keep in mind, there are no boxes on this level, so you simply just have to get to the end to get the clear gem. There is, however, a time trial on this level. You may as well do it the first time you see it because it's not like you're gonna miss any boxes and you just have to get to the end. The second and final hidden level is Hot Coco. This is accessed through the level Road Crash. Early on in this level, you'll come across a couple of construction barriers. On the right hand barrier, you'll see a blue bird chilling out. Once you pass it, this bird will start flying ahead of you. Follow the bird and it will crash into a road sign that has an alien head on it. Crash into this sign as well and you'll be transported to the level Hot Coco. Hot Coco is a jet ski level. There is a clear gem on this level for getting all the boxes. The entrance is also the exit, but you cannot exit the level until you find the nitro switch. If you're looking for a way to get out of this level quickly, you can quit through the pause menu, or if you're looking for the nitro switch box, follow the buoys on the right hand side and you'll eventually stumble across it. You have to jump off one ramp and hit it, and then you can make your way back to the entrance to exit the level. If you've made it through the game getting all box gems and all color gems, you'll probably notice that you only have 44 of 45 gems. That's because the 45th gem is hidden behind all the time trials. In order to get the 45th and final gem, you first have to get at least a gold relic on every single level. This includes Agapus Rex, and this includes Hot Coco and every other level in the game. 
I suggest waiting for this challenge until you beat Cortex for the first time, only because that's when you get the Crash Dash Superpower or the Running Shoes. You'll be able to get Gold Relics on pretty much every single level with ease, if not Platinums. It's really not worth doing until then. Once you've gotten a Gold Relic on every single level, the final gem will appear in the Time Twister where Coco usually stands if she's not currently in your party. That wraps it up for this guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm happy to help. Alright everybody, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.